So what is up guys, I am 63Z and I'm back again on model- oh, I didn't even get up to you, I'm just actually recording the other one. The pros and cons of being in a fucking relationship. I've had a fair few myself and I'm gonna say, there's a lot to both sides. When I'm with someone, I date them because I like them. I like who they are, I like their body, I like their personality, I like how they make me feel, all that sort of shit. That's perfectly normal to date someone for those reasons, right? It comes with a lot of cons. I'm definitely more of a relationship person purely because I don't like the consistency of not having someone to talk to as much. Fuck me. Oh, I almost died so many times just trying to get around that corner. Oh, okay. Oh my god, this pistol sucks. Gotcha. We didn't kill two games in a row. Is you, is cons is, you have to be considerate of what you're doing. You gotta... You gotta try and hold back any kind of jealousy as well. You gotta make time for them, obviously. You have a lot less time when you're in a relationship to do other things. Like, not everyone is like that, but in my experience, it's very much like that. Because you're trying to do so oh, I want to get oh, the if you, if you do work and you do a whole bunch of other things, so you you have work, which is a dedicated amount of time you have each day to specifically have to do work. Do then this. you're you do school or you do uni or something along those lines. You don't have anywhere near as much time after that as well. So you obviously a relationship takes a lot more time out of your day, so you have a lot less time, obviously. Oh my god, this gun's amazing. Holy shit, holy shit, grenade, 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 oh yeah! Fuck off. Got you. Fuck off, piece of shit. How? Oh my god, another fucking hit marker. Two in a fucking row. Fuck off. It's little minor things. There's a lot of minors, minor pros and cons to come both sides. The major con to being single is the amount of alone, like the amount of time that you're alone. Now you can make up for that by talking to more, more of your friends, hanging out with more of your friends. Some people don't mind that, uh, which is perfectly, which is perfectly fine. Like. But I'm not. I'm not like. I'm, I'll talk to my friends. I'll hang out with my friends often. But I prefer to hang out with like my girlfriend if I had a girlfriend. I think I fucking noticed you can't fucking shoot through windows on this fucking game. Oh well, of course you're gonna fucking bring me wrong. In the moment when you're trying to shoot through, them, it never shoots through the fucking windows of the car. It is so frustrating. The pro of being in a relationship is the amount of fun you have. It's a support network. Like, you have someone, you know you can wake up in the morning and have someone talking to you. You're not wondering, is anyone thinking about me because you know someone's thinking about me. Which, in my head, that's probably the best part about it. Is the fact that you know that there's someone there that wants to talk to you as much as you want to talk to them. Likes you for you and just wants to- Oh fuck! Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Fuck. Anyway, I just find it's- I, I find it having a better day I have a better day when I'm like in a relationship. Like, I can wake up in the morning and I'll feel happy. I can go to sleep at night and I can feel happy. Because I just know. I know there's someone besides than just there could be someone. Like, it's a guarantee, which is the best part. The worst part about having a relationship, though, not about being single, the worst part about being in a relationship is the fact that then you rely so much on them, like, your mood can change in an instant because of them. Like they can make you so happy one minute, but then you guys can get into a little petty fight, and the next minute you just you want to die inside. Like you're so upset, you're so sad, and it's just hard. It's harder to deal with. Think about your actions a bit more. You can't just be very free-minded and free free willy and all that kind of crap. You have to think about others a bit more as well. You can't just do what you want consistently without like first talking to them if you do something without like talking to them about it like asking if it's okay if you do that 
if it's something like if, if I'm going if I, if I was going to a party and I didn't tell them I was going to a party, that's a 100% a bad thing to do. If you want, if you if they're going to a party and you expect them to tell you that they're going to a party first or ask for permission to go to a party first, you need to do that as well for them. You need to make sure that you tell them when you tell them when you're going to a party as well. It's like not very many points in and they've already got a fucking helicopter. Wow. Fuck me. Get out of the fucking corner. Holy shit, did you see that lad? Come on, come here. Oh I got it, yes. Yes! Straight away, fuck yeah. How you can think, how you can talk, how you can behave, how you can oh, fuck What? Fuck off, I was in that. How? How? You, you what? Oh fuck off! He was completely fucking flashed. How the hell do you know where the fuck I was? That is utter bullshit. And that's that's literally my opinion. Other people have different experiences, so for them, their pros and cons of being in a relationship is a lot different to mine. I know some people don't like it because of the fact that it's it is a lot more effort. You have to rely on other people more often. They if they're having a bad day, you're having a bad day. And it can make you upset if they don't want to spend time with you as much at a certain time of day and all that kind of crap. Like, it's a very reliant kind of thing, which for some people they don't like having to rely on others, which is perfectly fine. You, you want to be very independent, go right ahead, be very independent. But that's just some people's way of being. They like being an independent person because they don't have to worry about other people. They don't have to think about other people in a way where they have to put in more effort. And that's perfectly fine to be like that. Because everyone can be like that every now and then. Some people are like that more often than others. Which again, it's perfectly fine. It happens. Fuck, there's so many missiles going on right now. Nah, fuck, fuck, fuck. I should not have won that. I 100% should not have won that. I should not have won that either. I am like on no health. I should not be winning this. So that's been the. Th thank you guys so much for watching. Right? If you agree with anything I've said, leave it down below. If you have another point of why it's a bad thing to be in a relationship, why it's a good thing to be in a relationship, leave it down below. Give me your opinion on the matter. Uh, I'd love to hear it. I'd like to know on my end because it helps me know more. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you didn't, don't worry about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Not all men. One of the most annoying phrases someone can say. Not because guys say it, <laughs> but because people complain about guys saying it. This video is going to be a bit more controversial. If you are watching this video and you're getting ready to type something. How are you, AVs online? Oh, you fucking juggernaut. Bitch.